you will find that you're bound by a binary system. Two hearts that b -b beat, beat, and double time, times by the two minds that coexist inside me. I am of two different identities that speak in constant conversation, connected by kinetic rhythms that traverse space and time. A heartbeat that beats in double time, pumps blood to two bodies found within one organism. My organ system shifts in two bloodstreams that makes Niles like rivers, rivers like Niles, rivers that delivered me to existence. I was birthed by the Congo, but almost drowned in the Mersey, submerged by its bare, bold, splendid arms to its chest. My head pressed against its bosom, a baby breastfed by its murky waters, forced to taste the bittersweet bottom of its heart, the b -b beat beat of its heart, immersed before being rebirthed. I <coughs> coughed out scouse and spewed the soup of words, Lingala, Francais, English and they dropped from my lips as thick as potatoes and beef stew. I felt my heart throb, reboot, my pulse beating a pulsating African sun to become an adopted son of Britain. Africa, Britain, bloodstream shifting between the two to become one. They say home is where the heart is, but home is the heartbeat, the booms, the pows, the repeating movements, the patterns, the form, the fabric of time. And each fiber of mine is a tight, vibrant strand, like Liputa, Kitenge. And when my heart strings picked and plucked, a tide of boisterous voices has erupted. I was converted from bright primary colors to those more muted. But Makalele is in my makila. Makila nangai is a makalele. Noise is in my blood. And the prominent sound is my fami, my family. Bloodstream rushing to my memory bank, bringing back Thoughts of a bubbling broth in pots on top of a kitchen stove. Okra, fufu, bondu madesu. And this mom and us six children sat around the table. We would relate tales of our whole day, break beignet, and give praise to Zambe, God. Grateful for the great food and thankful for all. I'm thankful for all, for all my roaring bloodstream continues to see. Home is the heartbeat, and my heart beats ever so proudly. An oceanic skyline riddled with white hued ribbons that shuffle and shift. The wisp-like shape chafe and chase reality away, leaving all to the imagination. I see ancient bricks, blocks, rocks, stones, and cobble that pave these gray and blackened streets and the battle of feet as they sweep and hit the ground. Life's cogs continue to interlock. The streets preach a gospel, speak of toppled cities, speak of toppled, coffled people that built these blocks and cities I see today. Speak of times past, I hear the tarmac laugh, breathe, cackle, cry. It's bare body marred, marked by streaks and scars, each harsh line tells a story. Cracks run through its concrete skin like veins and arteries. Its heart is the people. A kaleidoscopic variation of individuals from menacing denizens whose backs press upon heavy walls to shishi men and women dressed in expensive clothing. 
The road continues to tell stories. A seer calloused man hobbled towards me with a cracked smile, but his face says he's far from boring. With dreadlocks, but no sign of dreadlocked in his bop. You got change for me, brother? A polite shake of the head before I walk away. My ear hears the whoosh and sh as metal beasts roll down the streets, the wiring of sounds, form sounds around sounds, the glittering of lights, traffic lights like three lollipops, the squeeze sweet brightness from the deep, rich, crystal-like striations. Pan past thin green leaves that shimmy wave, the decaying leaves underneath my feet and the beat of the sun. It's such a mystic scene. I sometimes hear loud silence once the light quietens and city life dies or lies in temporal sleep. This is a concrete place with imaginary lines that separate I from him, him from here, here to you, you to I, the I is me. And within each line, beauty shines. So let's enter the beautiful entrance and vestibules of street life. So I'm delighted this afternoon to have the opportunity to interview Blue Saint, one of the commissioned artists for the Amani Go Digital project. Blue Saint is an up-and-coming spoken word artist, musician, and creative, who's based in Liverpool and is causing quite a scene locally. How did the name Blue Saint come about? Yeah, so Blue is like, what I used to do, like, loads of people around me and um, always, would always call me um, like really laid back, chill back, loads of people tend to say that about me, like I like, tend to be really relaxed. Um, and I remember doing quite a lot of different arts projects coming up and um, somebody in one of the pro arts projects was like, you've got this aura, it reminds me of like the colour blue. <laughs> and then it just kind of stuck after that. Um, and then Saints was when I started getting more into music and trying to come up with a stage name. I then added the Saints later, like as like just a, as a person who's just trying to do good, like because that's what the word Saint means. So they, I, I like the way that they pair together, like a like a chill, calm guy that's trying to do good with whatever he's doing. Yeah. You were born in the Congo. Yes. You came here when you were six. Yeah. And settled in one of my favourite towns, Liverpool. Yes. <laughs> but how did your artistic career come about? Um, well, my family's always been very creative. Uh, so, like, you'll also hear it in some of my poetry, like, me just talking about how, like, noisy and, and like, how much there was always something going on in the house, or, like, music getting played or whatever else. Um, so that was always ingrained, but then when it came to Liverpool, my, my, el my elder sisters, older elder sisters would, uh, would bring me to uh, projects, uh, like spoken word projects and music projects. So then over time, I started getting game, really, really um, developing a love for the arts. Yeah, so that's like that. So how does your Congolese heritage inform your work? Um, like I say, prior to even coming to Liverpool, like from, like as soon as I was born probably, like there was always, like my mum um, uh, like would design for people, sewing so stuff, my dad played uh, music and um, played guitar and stuff. Um, so like they always had, um, and like everybody in my family does something creative. So um, in terms of being Congolese, I think it's just like, it's it's the it's just like uh, the like there's got that rhythm and that that um like I just see bright colours in my head when I think Congolese you know like just just uh, yeah just vibrance mm -hmm. and rhythm and soul I guess yeah that's that's what we I was just that. listening to your spoken word about the links between the Congo and Liverpool yeah. And you even have a Liverpool accent when you say the word Mersey. <laughs> Mersey. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> How 
has it been growing up in Liverpool particularly because it has that whole history of music and culture? Yeah, no, it's been it's been amazing. I love Liverpool. Um, it's been for those reasons, like the because of the connection, and um, because it's also got that artistic background as well. Even though it's like from a different, it's like I, I love when when you have, when you when two different things collide because that's how that's how new um, uh, ideas and creations are made. So it's like it's still like within the same sort of parameters with like the music and arts but it's like two different perspectives of that like merging together so that, that's right and of it. course it's support which always brings creativity into it yes 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 so what would you say were the most significant milestones in your career up till now right okay so in terms of like just from an artist p perspective um i've went on to like to open up like okay, so yeah when I, when I when I performed at the Royal Albert Hall I performed at the Royal Albert Hall a couple of years ago and that was really really big because there was like over 2,000 people or something in the audience and never performed to that large amount of people before um, and that's made me be like oh yeah I really definitely want to do this um, to the first time I discovered that people like the things I wrote, I don't know, when I was about seven or something, and I came to school and I showed it to the, to the class, and then everybody was like, oh, can I listen, like, have you got any more? And I was like, oh, wow, like, people actually like what, I, what I'm doing. Um, so just being um, milestones, um, yeah, just, yeah, the, the, those are the two ones I can think of in terms, in terms of the arts that pop in my head that that's kind of um, helps to keep me going. Yeah. <laughs> so that's milestones. Yeah. Now, in terms of your work, yeah. what have you been most proud of? I've been most proud of of the, the of helping the community as well and being a part of the community. Um, because I when I um it, like when I was younger and still now, but I, I but the might come up like how I came about was um going to like I used to go to a, a youth center and um. And then we do from that like loads of projects. We'd always be doing projects that would help then help the community by um by even getting like funding to to get the 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 um budget, the the youth center refurbished. And now it's like a really like it's it's like a really really great facility. Like it's really big and like there's got different facilities. People can play music there and stuff like that. So just giving back to the community as well because the community gave to me and just um and trying to help the next generation of of people and artists from the community. So yeah. growing up, yeah, well from birth and through your time in Liverpool and travelling around, who's influenced you the most? Uh, family first. Um, like I say, I want like me doing most of what I do is due to my family, um, and then um, then going to the community like it'd be like the youth workers and and um, and the uh, workshop leaders, facilitators, and now I'm like kind of workshop facilitating too, so helping instill that sort of cycle, I guess, um, positive cycle. Um, and then, yeah, those are the, like in terms of me as a human being, um, my Christian life, my Christianity, um, and then, um, and then uh, in terms of like just music and stuff, the likes of Lupe Fiasco and Nas, um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you're dreaming about the future now. Okay. How do you see, uh, I don't like that five years time bit, but what, <laughs> it, what, what is your future dream? What would you like to achieve? Um, I would like to, I have so many ideas, like all the time, my brain's like, <laughs> um, but, but I guess like my big thing is to just, um, there's got so many things I want to do in five years. Three. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, I want to create like a, a release a book, ran <laughs> that's random, 
But yeah, I want to release a book. Actually, can I restart this question? That's a very hard question. Five years. What am I doing five years? It doesn't years? have to be five right. years. Right. Yeah, 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 it yeah. It could yeah. be 20 years. Yeah, in 20 years from now. I, I suppose the big thing for me is um, to... Like, what I'm doing is kind of turning in the things I'm doing are, like, all part of me. I've got separate things that I do, so spoken word, and I've got music, and then I've got, um, I sometimes act as well. But it's just, like, mar uh, marrying all those things together um, and creating some sort of project or business or something that allows um, all of those to kind of uh, breathe. Um, yeah, so, but, but the, the common, the common um, thread between all of those things are stories. So I just, I really love telling stories and those are the separate ways that I tell them. Um, so yeah, I'd love to create graphic novels and, and, um, and books and um, more sp like a spoken word collection and stuff. So I see myself like having a business that I, that's all kind of, allows all that to happen yeah how's covid been for you it's been a weird it's been a weird one covid oh that's a question you want to ask do you want me to put the question in my answer or okay how's covid been for me covid has um it's been um an interesting thing <laughs> positive or negative or a bit of both a bit of both a bit of both on the positive side it's given me time to reflect um, giving me loads of time to be um, productive uh, in a weird way. It's been, it made me more productive because um, it's given me, there have been loads of things I'd been wanting to do, but I put in the back burner and I was like, well, I guess I can do them now. I can't really say I can't do them. Um, so for the first period of COVID, I was just kind of just, it, it, it was nice to just, because um, I'd always, always, I remember in my back of my mind, I was always like, oh, it just feels like time's always like, r like running really quickly. And I was like, it'd be cool if they, they had like a pause button. So it's kind of like a little pause button to just kind of let me think and, and um, reflect and just be more with the family and stuff. Um, not be so busy, 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 busy moving around. But then, and, and also give me time to create. Um, but then um, on the more, on the negative side, um, like uh, the ways, like interactions different. So it's not like, but like things being more digital and stuff, which is cool because it's also got, it opens up avenues for different ways that you can perform. Um, so that's been great. But um, I am also missing actually seeing people um, as well, like actually getting um, a, a live reactions as well. So yeah, it's been a bit of both. Um, it's opened up new opportunities for me and allowed me to new, do newer things um, that I'd always wanted to do. But then on the, on the other side, some things that I used to do, I can't do. So, yeah. How can people engage with you? How can they follow you? Are right. you on social media? Yes. So you can find me on my Twitter is blue underscore saint. My Instagram is blue saint artist. Facebook is blue saint artist. And I've got a website, blue saint.co.uk or you can cite bluesaintmusic.com, but yeah, it, it'll still, it'll just redirect you to bluesaint.co.uk. Um, and yeah, uh, oh yeah, and then I'm also on, um, on all streaming platforms, so Spotify and, and the like. Um, so yeah, just Blue Saint, and that's it. <laughs> Thanks so much, it's been great talking to you. Thank you, it's been great talking to you.